Bahamas and and uh, EUM in line with Article 7.1 of our statute. It is the General Assembly that uh, should take this decision. I would like to inform you that uh, the situation today is uh, delicate and unusual because the Automoto Club, uh, which is recognized by FEMA UM, their federation, is member of this organization. The other uh, federation organizes other European and uh, world uh, events. So, this question should be resolved very soon. Before deciding uh, what to do, I kindly invite the representative of the SCOMS to present uh, in this case, and uh, immediately after him, the uh, representative of the Automoto Club should also explain his case. I, uh, both delegates would have five minutes each for the presentation of their proposal. Rep the representative of the council. Well, he has minutes to present his case. He's not here. The representative of council, please. She's coming. Thank you, madam. Madam, you have five minutes, five minutes. to present your case. Dear representatives of FIM, Mr. President, uh, dear the distinguished member of UAM, my name is Ivana Omanova. I am CEO of Perno Circuit. Perno Circuit is organizer, organizer of two World Championships, MotoGP and Superbikes, and is member of new Motorcycle Association in Czech Republic, Czech Association of Motorcycle Sport. It's a great honor to address you with application of the Czech Association of Motorcycle Sport for membership in the UN. I would like to acquaint you with motives for foundation of the new Motorcycle Association in the Czech Republic. The basic, the basic motive has been long-term dissatisfaction of riders, officials, and organizers with current way of control of motorcycle sport in the Republic. Beyond all that, uh, it's clear that the motorcycle sport in our country has been stagnating, and if there were some achievements, they were due to individuals, other, and enormous efforts and often despite the official authority, which permanently shows lack of interest in the future, present and development of the motorcycle sport in Czech Republic. The impulse for founding of new federation was untenable situation where motorcycle sport was vanishing. There is no concept of activities and support of the youth in order to create basis for uh, of young riders. We are not talk, talking only about top riders, but generally about the young, because it's clear that not everybody is born uh, to be a competitor. For some, it can be a hobby, way of spending free, free time, and often there can be a hope which can follow in the footsteps of famous Czech motorcycle riders. There is no development of sports centers under the governance of the current authority. There is no concept of development of motorcycle sport. Principles for funding those activities are missing. We are missing new elements that should lead to growth and popularization of this sport. The current authority is not involved 
in any major way of popularization and promotion of the sport. It's not interested in problem of organi organizers and promoters. Small clubs that are developing are, or are trying to develop in this way have to face arrogance and ignorance. There is a complete lack of support, not only financial, but also, also organization and marketing. The SAMS Foundation was logical result of growing dissatisfaction among the members. SAMS doesn't stand on the base of power. It has arisen from button, from the activities of writers, organizers and officials. Our goal is to offer a different way of working, different attitude to riders and for other people which are interested in motorcycle sport and try to put the damaged reputation of the Federation right. Impulses should be proceeding for us, from us and we must listen to the riders and organizers. It's necessary to assess and judge what is good for motorcycle sport and what will enhance it. We are focusing on the needs of our members in order to be a good service organization for them. The aim of our efforts is also to rise the level of motorcycle sport in Czech Republic. Last but not least, our support can also expect the organizers of national and international events we are working on keeping European and international events, including FIM World Championship in the Czech Republic. This year, SAMS Association is organizing or have, has power uh, FIM to organize three World Championships, MotoGP, Superbike and Speedway in Prague Marketa. SAMS has six sporting div divisions, di sorry, divisions and three non-sporting divisions. It has big plans, activities for young people in the organization of new types of races and prepare conditions for new uh, world championship in Czech Republic. If you have information about the situation with riding of motorcycle sport in the Czech Republic, surely you understand that uh, at this preliminary stage we are forced to protect our know-how. At this moment we are standing against the old authority which came to power 12 years ago. Its fight against SAMS is to call the formal steps leading to the establishment of new authorities into question. Despite 12 years ago, it took the same steps to take over the control of the motorcycle sport. It's typical that instead of trying to convince riders, organizers and officials that is offer better prospects and better service, the current authority discourage and all uh, those persons from their support of size, SAMS intimidates, organizes the disciplinary proceedings, water them and uh, ultimately destroys motorcycle sport more than ever. Why SAMS can rec recognize all national licensing including ACCR licenses in all its 56 national and open events while LCCR events holders of SAMS license cannot be entered. It's not against the idea that sport is an independent activity and it's needed to su support it. It's meant to have more sport association in one state aimed at developing and promoting the sport. Or perhaps there is a principle of exclusivity and uniqueness. We believe that we can do our job well, that we can help motorcycle sport in Czech Republic, uh, Czech Republic stand on their own feet, prosper and deliver world-class talented riders. Our own professional experience and deep knowledge of motorsport, including organi organizing top-level events, running racing teams, negotiation with organi organizers and promoters, create good 
preconditions for success of our activities. We would be honored if the Czech Association Motorcycle Sport will regard to the above mentioned facts would become an affiliated member of UN. Thank you for your support and trust and I wish you very nice motorcycle season which be safety I hope. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mrs. Ivanova, and you have observed your time limit. I, uh, the Federation uh, uh, represented by Madame Ivanova by organized the event World Championship Superbike uh, Speed Race and uh, also the Championship of European Championship in Speed Racing, Speedway in Prague. And as I have said, I call upon the representative of the Automoto Club to explain his position. Mr. Slavishek, you also have five minutes for your presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. President of the FIM, Mr. President of the UEM, the Vice President, the guests. Uh, let me shortly summarize the position of ACCR and uh, let me remind my name is Jan Stovicek. I'm the Vice President of ACCR for External Relations and I have been charged by the President of ACCR, Mr. Roman Ichminek, to speak on behalf of ACCR in this General Assembly. Uh, I think I'm not uh, unknown to a lot of you because I'm active in the UEM since 1998. Uh, when I was being appointed for the first time as a member of the UEM Judicial Panel. This is 14 years ago, it's a quite long history. And I have been for a few years President of the Judicial Panel. I'm also a member of the Judicial Panel of the FIM. And I used to be a racer. I was active many years in road racing, so I'm quite familiar with the uh, motorcycling environment. This is concerning myself. Now, as for the ACCR, uh, ACCR has a long history. It has been created in 1904. It's more than 100 years. You may believe or not, it has been created as a motorcycling club. It was the first motorcycling club in the Kingdom of the Czech Republic under the Austro-Hungarian Empire. So, we have a quite long track record that has been interrupted by the communist regime in Czechoslovakia. But we restarted the activities of ACCR 20 years ago and since 20 years we are focused in the motorcycling activities. ACCR became member of UEM and FIM 12 years ago and since that time is fully performing its duties against the UEM and FIM with no major complaints from both organizations. We never failed to do what we have to do we never fail to perform what we have to perform. ACCR is organizing 280 motorcycling events in the country, including almost 30 World and European Championship events. This is around 80% of motorcycling activities in Czech Republic. We are, with no doubts, the hugest and most important uh, organization organizing and managing the motorcycling sport in the country and we have a nationwide activity. We, without no doubt, fulfill all the requirements that are put on the National Federation by the statutes of the UEM and the FIM. ACCR is the founding member of the Czech Olympic Committee and we are an active member of the Czech Olympic Committee until now and we have a full support in our activities by the Czech Olympic Committee. <coughs> the question is why we are here today. Because we don't see any reason why the National Sporting Authority in Czech Republic and the membership and affiliation for Czech Republic and UEM should be changed. The reason is very simple. The origin comes to October of last year when the Czech Minister of Sports, Mr. Dobesh, wrote a letter to the FIM, including a decision on granting the National Sporting Authority to a newly created organization. 
an organization that has been registered the same day as the letter has been signed. From that moment, ACCR made a lot of legal steps and tried to explain what happened and what is the origin of this decision. We got the support of the National Olympic Committee. We reached a conclusion and opinion of the Constitutional Court of the Czech Republic, which is the highest judicial authority in the country. And finally, we also received an opinion from the ministry itself concerning the letter of the minister, a ministry as an institution. And all these opinions say very clearly that the letter that is an origin of all this matter is nothing else than a personal opinion of the minister. It is not a decision of the ministry as a body. It is not the decision of the government. It is just a personal opinion of one man. Well, what we made also is a criminal complaint because we believe that this action of the minister was an act of misuse of public power and an act of the fraud. And this criminal complaint is now under investigation by Czech police and uh, prosecutor. In the meantime, the situation changed in the Czech Republic. Minister Dobež, who signed the letter in October 2011, resigned after one and a half year in his position. He resigned because of numerous scandals that was, has, was been discovered by the media concerning his activities. And he is now in opposition against the government. Against the same government he was member quite recently. The new Minister of Education and Sports in the Czech Republic charged the Vice Minister responsible for sports to provide his opinion to the situation in motorcycling sports in the Czech Republic. And you all received that letter that has been sent by the Ministry to ACCR and that clearly says that there was no authority of previous Minister to take any decision on National Sporting Authority. Well, you have all the letters that we sent to all federations before this Congress and you know that there is a website available to you checkmotorsport.com, where you can check all the documents evidencing all the facts we are presenting to you. <laughs> Finally, I think the decision on management and organization of motorsport in the country is a very important decision. And it's a responsibility of the members of both UEM and the FIM. It is your responsibility to decide who will be managing the motorcycling sport in our country. And it's up to you to take the responsibility whether this will be an organization with a long history that showed a lot of success, has a long experience, and has a track record that shows something behind. Or a new organization that is existing not even for one year and cannot have such an experience as the existing organization. We leave this decision up to the members of the both federations. But there is one thing we should remind. We believe that UEM and the FIM are both democratic organizations. And we hope that the approach of management of both organizations will be fair. ACCR is an existing member of UEM and FIM for 12 years. ACCR is, as it has been talked many times here, a stakeholder, a shareholder, of UEM and FIM. And if we expect a fair approach from the management of both organizations to us, a fair approach and independent approach, and unfortunately we are not sure we can expect this. I will give you a small example. In the last six weeks, I sent three letters to Mr. President of UEM asking him to invite ACCR to the Management Council meeting in order to present the matter, explain the information and to have a space to explain the position of ACCR. I have been repeatedly refused and finally we did not have an opportunity to speak to the Management Council. Also I received an email from Mr. President of the UBM telling me that I should not plead the matter at the General Assembly. So we don't think this is really a fair approach and the respect of the rights of a shareholder and stakeholder of UEM, which is with no doubt with the ACCR. The delegates, I think the decision leaves is, is with all of you. 
However, we believe that it is impossible to make a distinction between the membership in the UEM and the FIM. A national federation should be just one in each country, and for each country there, will, there should be just one member in both UEM and the FIM. So it is our opinion that the final decision on this matter should be left to the FIM Congress, which is held in December of this year. This year. Thank you very much. Thank you. I would only like to specify that the Federation of the Motor Club wanted the matter to be raised at the General Assembly, which we have just done, which means that we are a democratic organization, as you have already said. Uh, which of the two delegations, uh, well, since they are two uh, delegations, well, uh, we should take a decision which is very difficult. Therefore, the managing committee uh, proposes to the General Assembly the following decision. The committee has recognized the validity of the presented docu document presented by Kants, the other federation, in other words, and uh, the committee suggests to the General Assembly the, to, uh, de to delay the decision until the next assembly in December in Monaco, which means that we cannot take any decision which would be uh, in uh, conflict with the existing rules. Do you agree? Uh, it is uh, envisaged by uh, our statute, uh, the FIM means it's you, and the other Federations are the federations of other continents. So, if you accept our decision to su submit the uh, decision the, to rule at the extraordinary at the General Assembly in December, if you agree that we delay, please show your green card to postpone the decision. I have a question, Mr. President, to all the delegates here. I was surprised why we have no member of the UAM has um, uh, a speech uh, requesting to become a member of the UAM. And at the same time, we have a federation from the Czech Republic which represent for so many years the, the country. That's my question. Why we invite a different federation, let's say, from the same country, which is not a member of the UEM or FIM, to have a speech uh, in the General Assembly? And I, I will ask all the delegates here, imagine if any federation from Sweden, France, uh, Holland, whatever, has a, a complaint, has, does has the right come here and explain and to make all this speech against the other federation, it was an internal problem, let's say. And I'll finish my small speech by saying, if an organization or a federation is not healthy, it's going to die sooner or later. So my question to, to the president is, why we have a speech from a federation which is not a member of the UN, asking the affiliation to become affiliate member of the UN. It's a business that all federations that want to become members should submit their request to the General Assembly. This is what the new federation has done, and previously they have submitted a complaint.
complete documentation, and therefore they had the right to uh, speak here and explain uh, the reasons for their request. The federations uh, are not uh, lifelong members of the UN. There are situations uh, um, when some federations had disappeared and were replaced by some other federations. So this is a regular request uh, to be presented to the General Assembly. As I have already said, that uh, 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 the, uh, the, they organize uh, world events and they organize uh, also events uh, in connection uh, such as champion, European Championship. So, the, in a democratic manner, uh, according to the statute, I gave the opportunity to this federation to submit the, to membership. affiliation of WEB is also linked to the affiliation of FIM. I ask you to uh, submit all of the decisions to the Assembly, which will take uh, the final decision, uh, namely whether they should be recognized as member of FIM and not me as member of UN. I think it's a democratic procedure in which, in which respect uh, the statute of both uh, of FIMA and UN. So I don't think that they are in conflict, but it is up to you to decide, not now, because we cannot uh, launch this discussion, but uh, this will be a very simple and correct procedure. Any more questions or remarks? No way, Mr. Peterson. Mr. President, my um, opinion is that you should not have allowed the General Assembly to become a um, battlefield uh, because this is a dispute at the national level and it should have been uh, solved at the national level in the uh, national democracy. I mean, no matter how great success you are as the National Federation, you will always have uh, somebody out there that's not uh, satisfied with your work as a federation. And if we allow uh, rebel groups to come here and present, present their message, it will be a terrible mess, I'm, I'm sure. So here we have to, to, to be loyal to the fundamental principles of the world of sports. And when these federations can prove that they are accepted by the National Olympic Committee, that must be what we uh, look at as the most important, not what the flip-flopping politici politician mean. So I think this should never have been an issue at this General Assembly. And just to explain, I will vote just the way as uh, RCCR or advise me to vote. Thank you. Yes. yes, you are right. That is why I said that we cannot take a, a decision now. And so we sent uh, to FIM uh, the request. Today we have voted that it uh, sh uh, should be submitted as a request to the General Assembly. It is a very difficult question to, or issue to resolve. The one that is affiliated doesn't organize international events and the other is not affiliated and organizes international events, which is not a normal situation and the solution should be found. But we, we are not authorized to solve this problem here and now. 
and but uh, we don't want to enter into conflict with FEMA. According to their statute, it's very clear that all federations, members of FEMA, are also automatically members of continental uh, uh, unions. So the managing committee suggests to uh, uh, send the, the the problem back to FEMA and they will resolve it. But it is not our problem, since it is not our problem. Uh, is, we have nothing to do with problems on the national level because on the ground of our documentation we uh, we discovered also a letter uh, of the minister and uh, on behalf of the committee uh, and uh, their problems are not uh, national problems are not uh, uh, our interest in our interest but uh, uh, we had to take into consideration the documentation presented so all, all the questions or the problems uh, will be sent back to FEMA. Mr. Stoichek, you have already spoken. I can give you five minutes. Or two minutes, two minutes only because we have other matters. I would like to make a comment. Uh, this question is very important, and uh, you have several times we, uh, emphasized the, the organization of the World Championship, and uh, I would like to explain to all the delegates who are probably not informed that this is the decision of the FIEM, and uh, uh, by the Expansion and Development uh, Committee in particular, uh, which was in charge of investigating in this case, and uh, it decided to uh, entrust uh, the organization of the three events to this federation. And I also would like to remind you that the three championships uh, organized uh, during the last, in, in the last 12 years were organized without any problems. I insist we are not entitled to vote today because I don't want to enter into conflict with FEMA. And uh, if uh, the delegate of FEMA is agreed, we can uh, all the, in a democratic manner submit to FEMA uh, all the documents and to, for the solution. So do you agree that we submit this uh, issue to the, for, to the next assembly of FEMA? If you agree, please show your green cards. Those who are not in agreement, the red, produce your red cards. Which, which federation? I agree. Hungary. Abstentions? Blanc. White. Uh, uh -huh. uh, with only one negative vote, vote against. Sorry, the light is. Well, the, the majority with one abstention and one vote against has decided to submit all the to, to 